So we did a place called Bedminster. This is the neighborhood tour. Welcome to another episode. This is um, uh, Bedminster. So Charlie, Habi, Habi, Habi GH. Today we are vlogging from uh, Bedminster, a place in the Bristol. So the weather is not bad, but what can we do? Let me show you around. Let me show you. See? Do they see him? So what I'll be doing is I'll be walking on the street like uh, is it a north, a north street? I can't pronounce the word though, Charlie. North Street. So I'll be walking on North Street all the way to where I parked the car, which is by a uh, little. So hopefully we'll get some amazing content. So yeah. If you like the area so far, guys, uh, please do subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah. This one, uh, you can get everything is uh, pound. Everything is one pound. So it's a pound shop. So the the weather is bad today. It's very very windy. But I don't know if you can hear me. Yeah, it's very very windy today. So I'm walking on North Street. That's amazing right there. Can you see what? That's Bristol for you, man. People get money for you, actually. That car is about 150,000 pounds. I tell you. So you don't see me, I show you some graffiti small. See them? See the graffiti? Make I go back when you see them. Yeah, so I'm on uh, North Street, North Street, Bristol. Uh, I mean, uh, Bedminster. Uh, this place is just, uh, it's just one of the neighborhood around Bristol, so yeah. So this shop here, if you want to exchange something, you can swap, you can swap your phones, you can swap gold, anything you want to swap. And also down there is a phone shop, so if you want to buy a phone and, and there's a stand in the bank, yeah. Oh, just make it aware, Charlie, we are still in the lockdown, so, you know. At the moment, I'm just walking on the street, so I don't think I need a mask, but because it's not mandatory to wear masking in the UK, but if you're in a shop, I think you are required to wear a mask. Uh, maybe I tell the camera so make you see this uh, uh, beautiful, um, uh, what is it called, Maserati. You see, I'm So I want to go to, I won't go that shop inside. I won't check if they get any gadget to Afi, Afi bar. So I go pause the camera. I don't know if I'm allowed to film inside. Yeah, so Charlie, now they find some camera a bit, but it be like they don't get, so maybe continue the neighborhood talk. This place is known for graffiti. So make I show you this amazing graffiti. Yeah, look. I don't know if you see them. So this particular video, I'm shooting in 5K, 24 uh, frames per second because uh, I want the best possible footage ever. And I'm also using an ND filter 
uh, I think it's 16 I'm not sure let me check yeah I think it's 32 yeah so Charlie I'm in uh, Bedminster um, you will I'm in Bedminster yeah and uh, here is a barber shop like if you cut your hair if you do a lot of trims yeah that's the barber shop down there yeah Maybe I just check the camera, you know, because this GoPro, I don't really trust that. Maybe I just check to make sure this camera is actually recording. Yeah, I think it's recording. So let's continue the tour. I don't know where I parked several. Yeah, across the road. I should see I parked down there. Charlie, if you like this place, make a know. Uh, if you know anybody from uh, Bristol or Bedminster, let me know. Yeah? This morning I will read for Twitter saying. You know, the government messed up the country, and now I hear this. Even my myself won't step inside, you know, to can't help the country. But is it possible? You know, if I were this government, what I would do is I would actually ask for help, you know, because if you can't do the job, let somebody do the job. Yeah. But let's not talk about policies. I'm, I'm just showing you this area. So this is a neighborhood tour, I mean Bedminster actually. Let's continue the tour. You know, last week we just hit 1,000. So, you know, it's getting, it's getting saucy. It's getting pretty, you know. We're definitely growing as a family. So Charlie, if you enjoy what I'm doing, uh, please, uh, all you have to do is uh, just hit the subscribe button and the like. That's what you have to do. It's not that difficult. Yeah. I would love to walk down there, you know, see. I love going there. But I'm not sure if I'm allowed to because, you know, it's rested. I don't want to take my camera recording people's, uh, people's resting because, you know, somebody there, maybe they don't want to be seen on camp, you know. But what you're doing is you're invading people's privacy. But I'm on the street, so I think I can record myself. Yeah. This place is very beautiful. We got turn the camera, make you see the graffiti right there. So what I'll do is I'll I'll stop over on this street and uh, grab a coffee or something, or make you go straight. Hmm, Charlie. No, I'll go straight. I think there's a nice pop down there. I think I can get a nice. Uh, coffee or or drink from that side.
this water keeps changing so you know if the if the footage is too dark uh, please uh, do let me know so that next time I would have to use the ND filter or not because it's like it's affecting my footage because every second the weather change one minute there's sunny another minute there is all playing around so you see the graphic we did there that may go may let's go closer let's get closer to the to the graffiti now on this channel you have to see everything real you know so let's cross the road and uh, uh, get closer to this graffiti you know Charlie English is not my first language so if I did bar make you take forgive me why thank you so you see the graffiti eh? you see I'm may I turn the camera and make you see I'm beautiful right Let's continue. I think there's more to see that side uh, than this side. So let me uh, be on this side. Thank you. Battery go down. You now I would love to walk down there, but what man for this F? Yeah, I think we walk around there. Make you see. Yeah, let's walk. This place be a residential area, so a lot of people live here, so I have to be very careful not to invade people's privacy. So Charlie, if you like the area inside, let me know in the comment below, you know. And also, if there's anything else you'd like me to vlog about or where you'd like me to visit next, uh, please do let me know. At the moment, Charlie, man is just learning a lot. I think, Charlie, I think this be a dead end. Oh, there's no road here. My black man lost. Oh man, would do self. Yeah, man, for go back. So me, I turn the camera, make you see him. Sometimes it does bother me, you know, as a Ghanaian, you know, you expect people to have a basic, you know, like people should be able to gain access to a basic things in, in life, like water, toilet, electricity. But right now, it be like the government there, yeah, they don't care self. You know, sometimes I try not to talk about politics, but actually, what man for do? The government, 
them did that i believe they just squashing the money into their bank account uh, you know you somebody who you they work as a journalist eh? you become mp you now you own tv station and everything i'm not gonna mention name but you see you know if you have people like this you know in a government how would the country be prosper i mean how the country will prosper tell me Charlie, if the country will prosper where people they squash or squander money uh, then make a no make a no because this one they may not agree oh but if you agree that means you they squash the money some because it's careful eh? yeah you know sorry sometimes it's just uh, it's just too much to handle so let's continue the neighborhood tour maybe i'll show you the camera see ya this will be where we day you know as usual you know man for good take drink man for good take drink so we will be taking drinks down there there's a nice restaurant or a nice pub there i think i can sit down and then have a drink yeah you know when you walk for one hour you burn a lot of calories so you know you can have something and something and you'll still be all right just watching the road before i cross you know because especially when you vlog it charlie you can get distracted like that You know, I've been vlogging properly for like a few weeks. <laughs> it's not easy. Sometimes you have to plan what to talk. <laughs> but you know, we learn every day because you know, when you make mistakes, you learn from your mistakes. But you know, it can't be perfect all the time because there is not a real vlog. It's not a real content. I don't like script, script vlogging. That's that's not real. You have to show people a real content. You know what I mean, right? Yeah. This weather keep changing every single second. Every second the weather they change. And the weather no, the weather no give me gabao. It don't make a make a vlog completely. Blah my lace up. My lace surf they come off. We are we are ten. We are across the road. Let me see if I feel well down this street. I feel walk. I don't know. The people know our streets. Maybe I show you the streets. Yeah, let's let's continue the walk. Let's continue the walk. And if you enjoy what I'm doing guys, uh, please do subscribe, right? Please do subscribe. <laughs> so what I want to do, I want to take some drink for uh, some pop we did there. You see the pop? I don't go sit for there. See, see. If I feel take a nice, a nice drink. I think I feel cross the road, sir.
Charlie, you know me and they tell you, if if there's something wrong with our country, we as a citizens, we have to talk. But if you sit at home with your phone on Twitter, reading hashtags, it's not going to fix the problem. We have to take our time, you know, voice out, you know, constructive voice out. Shouting, calling radio station is not going to fix the problem. If you want to demo, you have to demonstrate. If you want to write to the government, write to the government. And you know what? Hold your MPs responsible because if you vote for them and they're not doing what you vote for them for, then what's the point? And I also read this morning, uh, I think it's John Dumelo who said they promise 88 hospitals, 88 districts. Where is those 88 uh, hospitals? None, nada. Now we are even struggling with water. Eh? Tell me, look, you need to hold your government responsible. I mean, you need to hold this particular government responsible because, tell me, look, people ball, people ball. You know, you know, see, the UK are they, you know, it's not bad, but look, people don't struggle, people don't fight for their life food. You know, you get a job, you know, if you're looking for a job, you apply for a job, you get it, you know. The house price in Ghana is like off the roof. Now I read this morning, you know, uh, Michael Jackson say even uh, crackheads in America even get more than a minimum wage. It's true. Look, I don't know how much people earn in Ghana, but I believe some of them earn less than two hundred dollars or two hundred pounds, which is about probably less than thousand Ghana cities. It's ridiculous how people are going to survive on thousand Ghana cities a month where they have to buy the water 2,500 Ghana cities, no, 250 Ghana cities every week. The economy is bad. You know, look, if I'm Nana, if I were Nana or Baumia, I would probably call Mama and say, Look, Mama, Tali, we need help, so come help us. But you know, because of greed, they won't do that. You know, they won't do it. So, Tali, um, until then. This episode just end like that. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe though. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.